This is Jamie Hendrick, and this is episode 39, Give Satan the Boot, on LDS Hasten. Okay. Picture this. You're about to walk into a saloon. Don't worry. We're living worthily, full of the Holy Ghost. We're about to chase the whole crowd of those demons out of town. Okay? So get ready. We're walking in now. Okay, y'all. Party's over. We're shutting it down. We're hunting for some of y'all. The main one of these is a lion, demon, rattlesnake who's broken every law of the Lord. And I think he's terrorized the lives of men enough. And so we have a certificate, a warrant, to give Satan the boot. Every single one of these unclean spirits were running out of town. De depression, contention, disease, fear. They're, they're going to be among the ones that, that, that really have to go. And they're probably, you know, our early enemies probably saying, well, we sent them all over the fogs, you know, the, 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 the coronavirus, which I call the devil virus. Let's face it. We, it, we who are saints in Christ, we know who we are, so we're going to talk to these demons like they're dogs. Now, the first one we're going to cast out this evening is the demon of alcoholism and drug abuse. This one's the first one that gets sent. There's deliverance from from this thing in Jesus' name of Jesus Christ, so get the hints. Now the spirit of, of infirmity, we know how to cancel it so it's not welcome no more. Mark sixteen eighteen says, We lay hands in on the sick and they recover. So with some good priesthood blessings, we send them out the door. Now, there is the spirit of falsehoods. Ones that like to spread in disinformation and fear. Guess where we take care of that sucker? In our temple. To bind our families together. So that we can survive this coming evil world. And make it into the eternities. All of them. Go. 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 All of them. Now, we save the worst of them all for last. And we want to hit him in our we, we want to hit him where it, where it hurts. Because we are tired of him in our family, in our churches, in our government institutes, in our government institutions. We are not our own. We are bought with a price. As long as we are worthy, we can be filled with the Holy Ghost. And so we're sending that sucker where it needs to be packing, okay? We're sending that sucker where it needs to be packing. Towing the bell, right? Yeah, that's right. We're a whole new breed generation of Christian. And with the priesthood, we are authorized and deputized to blow our enemy out of our way. I'm going to explain the two weapons which we can have to overcome all sin and all crud. One bullet is called the word of our testimony. 
Let me tell you something. That bullet is packed with enough priesthood to, to knock him down big time. Here's the second one, okay? Okay, first of all, the priesthood, the word of our testimony. If we keep our testimony strong, I was listening to a Come Follow Me devotional today where it talks about testimony under construction. Folks, all of our testimonies are under construction. And to keep them firm foundationed and strong instruction, we need to keep that bullet intact. The second one is the blood. And now, I'm going to go through a little demonstration that can really help you every day give Satan the boot. I'm going to put this phone down for just for a little minute. Helmet of salvation. Breastplate of righteousness. Shield of faith. Sword of the spirit. Loin skirt about with truth. Feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. That's right, folks. With the whole armor of God, we give Satan the boot. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. We give him the boot. And with that, I hope that he is feeling pretty low. Because we can be victorious now in Jesus Christ. Now, I hope you enjoyed listening to LDS Hasten. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the LDS Hasten family. Become a part of the LDS Hasten community. This is Jimi Hendrix saying until next time, read your scriptures, remember who you are, and preach the gospel. God bless.